Speech recognition is the feature du jour on our smartphones for 2014, with Cortana on Windows Phone joining Siri on the iPhone 5S and S Voice on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Gone are the days of repeating yourself over and over to call your mum, and that's thanks to the tech from the guys at Nuance. We headed over to the company's HQ in the picturesque Marlow to catch up with the guys behind the tech and get some walkthrough demos. This is Dragon Mobile Assistant, which is a, an application available in the United States Play Store. It has a number of capabilities that you'd expect from a mobile virtual assistant. Added to the ones that you typically would have seen, this has voice biometrics take capability on it, and it also has a wake-up word capability. The wake-up word in this case is uh, Hello Dragon, and it will react to that and uh, authenticate me at the same time. Likewise, I can also give it a command. So I can give it what we refer to as a one-shot. I can wake it up, it will authenticate that I am who I am, and then I can give it a command that I want to find. So, hello, Dragon. Send a text message to Sebastian Reeve. I'll see you in about 30 minutes. Now, to confirm, your text will go to Sebastian Reeve. It says, I'll see you in about 30 minutes. Would you like to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. So I haven't actually touched the device, apart from holding it, obviously. But I haven't touched the device. That's taken that command, it's passed it out, it's done what I needed it to do in a hands-free, eye-free way to do it. Arrange a meeting for this evening at 6pm with George West. The first one. Okay, here it is. A 30 minutes appointment tonight at 6 p.m. with George West. Called appointment with George West. Should I add the appointment to your calendar now? Make that 7 p.m. As you can see, it's immediate. Add Lynn West to that. Hello Dragon. Restaurant reservation for this evening, six people, downtown Boston, Italian. Let me get that for you. So in this case it's chosen that Yelp is going to be the provider of that. It's filled in Italian and Boston and provided me with the, uh, the selected restaurants I could do there. If you can imagine doing that through your normal UI that you would have on a mobile device, that would take a, a significant amount of clicks to be able to get you to where you wanted to go. This is a demonstration of Dragon TV, which is Nuance's speech-enabled television. So what you have here is a microphone embedded in the remote control, which is going to control the application. So it can do the command and control type of applications, such as the volume up and the volume down. For example, at the moment, the television's muted, so I can say volume 10. That's just to bring the volume up a little bit so you can see the concept of it, uh, rather than turning it up loud so you can't see it. So it enables you to navigate the uh, APG or the Electronic Programming Guide either by just giving it a channel name or a channel number or you can look at the Electronic Programming Guide itself. So uh, show EPG and that brings up the Electronic Programming Guide and you can navigate that using your voice if you want to or you could use the cursors on the, on the remote control depending whichever is easiest for the user itself. So uh, page down. Watch Ghost Whisperer and immediately takes you to the program that you're asking. Uh, likewise, I could say Channel Up. However, the real constraint that people are having with the television is actually getting content. You want to do things like uh, find a particular movie by a particular uh, actor or, or genre, for example. So I could say Find Comedies. And it's then provided me a selection of comedies I could do. It's identifying me as an individual, so it's using voice biometrics. So it has an understanding of me as uh, my voice print and therefore a profile that sits behind which has my favourites in it. So I can just say something like, uh, go to my home screen. Hello John, welcome back. 
So that used the phrase, go to my home screen, used that to assess who I was, and then took me to my home screen, which has then the likes and the movies that the provider thinks that may be useful to me and my preferences. Close. Likewise, you can just navigate to programs that may be on or schedule programs to be watched. So you could say something like, what's on HBO tomorrow at eight? And it takes you immediately to tomorrow, taking the, uh, the program and then you could say then, DVR, flight of the cold cords. And it's then added that to your video recording to be recorded onto your personal video recorder tomorrow. Close. Coming up in the future, Nuance are working on a concept named Winter Mute that'll bring all your speech tech together. Here's a quick demo. How are the Celtics doing? The Celtics are losing. It's 46 to 42, Lakers, with 11.58 left in the third quarter. Play the Rolling Stones. I know it's only rock and roll, but I like it. So now I've arrived back at my desk, I want to continue listening to the music that I had on my phone just now. Put on the music I was listening to. You got it. Okay, so I'll pause it. Find movies starring Bruce Willis. Here's what I found with Bruce Willis. Watch The Fifth Element. Here's what I came up with. Play the movie I was watching. Throw on the game. Here's what I could find. So this, the system remembers that I was uh, asking earlier about the Celtics game. It looked at ESPN, it realizes that the Celtics are actually playing right now, chose that channel and pushed it up onto the TV so I can continue watching that game. Are you guys excited for the future of speech? Let us know in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel and head over to t3.com for more tech news, reviews and features.